Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Today we will learn about subtraction of two digit numbers without borrowing. So, but before that I request you to please subscribe my channel, like my videos and write name, class and roll number in the comment section. Okay, let's start today's session. First question is 99 minus 81. Do you remember? In addition, we have to place the number according to their position, ones and tens. But here also, we will do the same. First, we will place the number according to ones and tens. But before that, we have to find out the bigger number. Which is bigger number? 99. Yes, this point is very very important because we have to place bigger number on the top only and the smaller one below the bigger number. This is very important. So, what is bigger number? 99 is bigger number. So, this 9 is on one's place. So, we will write here. And this 9 is in tens place, so we will write here. Now we will place 81 according to its position. 1 is in ones place, so we will write here. And 8 is in tens place, so we will write here. Now we will mark the sign of subtraction. The method of subtraction is different. In addition, we keep bigger number in our mind and use our finger for smaller number. But in subtraction, we will keep smaller number in our mind and move up to bigger number by using our fingers. I tell you how. Which is smaller number? 1. So, we will keep number 1 in our mind. Okay? And move up to the number 9 by using our finger. Number 1 is, an, is in our mind. Now we will count up to 9. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now we have to count how many finger we have used to move up to 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have used 8 fingers to move up to 9. That means 9 minus 1 is equal to 8. Yes. Now we will subtract 10 digit. Which is smaller number? 8. So we will keep number 8. In our mind and move up to number 9 by using our finger. Number 8 is in our mind. Now count up to 9. 9. How many finger we have used? Only one finger. That means 9 minus 8 is equal to 1. We have solved this. That means 99 minus 81 is equal to 18. Let's take another example of subtraction. Here I have placed these numbers according to their position. 67. 7 is in 1's place so we have placed it here. 6 is in 10's place so we have placed it here. 5 is in 1's place so we have placed it under 1's. And 1 is in 10th place. So we have placed this under 10th column. So we have placed these number according to their position. And I have placed bigger number which is 67. I have placed bigger number on top and the smaller one below the bigger number. Yes. Now let's subtract. We have to subtract 1's digit first and we will use the same method which is smaller number 
Number five. We will keep number five in our mind. Yes. Now, number five is in our mind and we have to count up to seven by using our finger. Number five is in our mind. Six, seven. How many finger we have used? Two finger. That means seven minus five is equal to two. Now we will subtract tens digit. Six minus one. Here you can use the property of subtraction. The property of subtraction say when we subtract one from any number we get the previous number of the given number. So what is the previous number of number six? Yes, number five. So six minus one is equal to five. And you can use the same method for this also. Let's do. Which number is small? One. One is smaller number. So one is in our mind. And let's move up to number six. Two, three, four, five, six. How many finger we have used? One, two, three, four, five. That means six minus one is equal to five. I have taken both the question from your book exercise. Rest, rest question you will do by yourself. Okay? Your homework is uploaded in the description box. Please check it out and do it carefully. Thank you so much.